to ask you, how did you first find out about World Peace Forum? The World Peace Forum, I first heard of that from a number of my friends from different, around different parts of the world. And I think particularly Kai Jacobson, who sort of sees this as being really one of the major uh, prizes in this part of the world for peace. That's great. Nice to hear that we are globally known. Uh, I wanted to ask you, what did you expect to achieve when you started working for peace building? What were your, uh, let's say, ideals and uh, what were the main achievements that you expect from working into peace building? Well, for me, it's quite an interesting story because it all, in a way, just happened by accident and then just grew and grew and grew. So the first Global Peace Index came about because I realised there was no measure of global peacefulness by country. And then I thought I'd just do one and see how it went. So I did one, then publicised it and got global publicity, got a lot of resonance with different people. And that's how the whole process for how the Institute for an Economics and Peace was born. So in many ways, because we measured something which had never been measured. That just then flew into a whole lot of other things, such as understanding positive peace, and ascribing economic values to changes in peace, and developing better risk. Then after developing the Global Peace Index, we saw all these other areas which just sprung from it such as we are at now able to determine statistically what positive peace was, be able to ascribe economic values to changes in peace and to be able to work out better ways of being able to understand country risk. That's great. So it's really like we have done a lot of uh, job to arrive at here and you've done a lot of achievements. And how did the, the world, uh, the Peace Global Index, arrive to be known? It's uh, throughout associations, uh, throughout uh, peace activists, or throughout, uh, let's say, uh, political institutions. Where, which were the main actors that you uh, interact with? We interact in many ways. Uh, part of it's with the global press. So the Global Terrorism Index and the Global Peace Index last year had 3.3 billion media impressions in over 100 countries. We also were interacting universities, so there's be, our work now would be taught in thousands of university courses around the world. We do consulting uh, for many different groups around the world and we've done consulting contracts for people like the OECD, World Bank, Commonwealth Secretariat, UN, and then we also engage uh, uh, regularly with many of the leading think tanks in these areas as well, and multilateral organisations. And that's through face-to-face -face meetings, presentations, lectures and such. That's great. And um, who is the, let's say, uh, the personality that inspires you the most when you talk about peace? Oh, this Dalai Lama, without a doubt. Uh, I've met the Dalai Lama now maybe a dozen times and he certainly is the most impressive person I've met in my life. And he radiates peace. He radiates peace. So this was one of the projects that inspired you the most? Uh, yes. That's great. Thank you very much, Steve. Thank Thanks. Very much. Okay.